All right, now we are prepared to actually hook your printer to your host laptop or computer. Uh, depending on your needs, uh, or depending on your host computer, you may have an HDMI output or a VGA output. The laptop that I'm currently using as my host computer has an HDMI output, but VGA works just as well. It's just important that your host computer can uh, correctly host a 1920 by 1080 HD output. So we've, we've taken the HDMI output and used our own HDMI cord. If you're using VGA, that is supplied, but if you're using HDMI, you'll need your own. Uh, we've connected it to the computer, and we've connected it to the HDMI input on the projector. If you're using VGA, uh, you'd use the connector over on the left side. Uh, we've also connected the AC power cord to the projector, and you'll note that we have a green power, standby power light there, which means the projector is getting power. Uh, the final two connections uh, are the power for your uh, printer, which connects to the back port, and this is just basically a DC-powered wall transformer that, that um, hooks up to uh, your outlet, and that plugs into the back. And then additionally, I have a standard USB cord which is supplied with the machine, and I've connected that to a USB port here on my laptop, and then I'm just going to plug that in as well into the USB port on the side. So now the printer is connected. We've, we've previously installed the software, and we'll just spend some time making sure that the software recognizes the, uh, the printer and that the operating system has been configured correctly to recognize the display port of the projector.